Yo, yo, Daily Fire. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 311. If you want my spot, you better be willing to work. Now, what does that mean? That is the mind game that I play on myself and play with myself. And a lot of people play these mind games with themselves, right? The mind games I play with myself is to make sure that it's like somebody's gaining on me, right? Somebody's gaining on me, and if I'm not willing to put the work in, they're going to take my spot. And then I think to myself, motherfucker, if you want my spot, are you willing to do what I'm willing to do? And whether any of that is true, it's true in here. And that's the way you have to think about it. So when them alarm clocks go off at 3.20 a.m., when I choose not to cheat on my diet, when I don't miss my supplements, when I get my conditioning in, when I make sure and lift these weights, when I go to these shows, when I do all of these things, I've been doing this shit for 25 plus years, right? But the whole time I thought around the corner, some motherfucker is looking at me thinking I want that. Around the corner, some motherfucker is more ripped, stronger, prettier, all of that, right? And I know it. But are they willing to do what I'm willing to do? And when I first got that lunch pail in the coal mine, and I first understood what it really takes to work hard, shoveling on my knees, the top's 42 inches, 15, 16, 17, 18 doubles, all these hours, 90-hour work weeks, I got to understand what it really takes. And not only what it really takes to work hard, but to do something I really didn't fucking like. I got paid well, and it was a means to an end, and it got me a chance to start my fitness career. But the reality is, I got shown by grandfather, mom, stepdad, dad, all of my family, long work days of things they really didn't like to do. And I said, I'm going to use that understanding, and then I'm going to pair it with something I love to do. So am I going to choose not to put the work in on something I cannot believe I get to do every day purely because I want to be comfortable? Are you fucking kidding me? And on top of it, when you get comfortable, they're going to take your spot, whoever that is. So the whole thought process to me, especially lately when I've done turn way up is my spot is going to be hard to take. My spot in this industry, I'm not a fucking one-time guy. I've been doing this shit my entire adult life. This is what I do. If you fuck with me, you're going to get better. It's just what we do at Corey G Fitness, at Max Effort. It's your lifting, it's your diet, it's your supplements, your lifestyle, it's your understanding, it's your motivation. It's what I do. It's what I do. So if I keep working hard because I think this, you know, fictional person is trying to catch me, which... There are people trying to catch me. There are people that would want this spot. And I don't want to give it up. So if I don't want to give it up, I can't get comfortable. If I don't want to give it up, I got to stay on my diet. If I don't want to give it up, I can't miss workouts. If I don't want to give it up, I got to do daily fires like this. Do you understand what I'm saying? So are you playing these mind games on yourself? You better be. Because a motherfucker is going to work hard. I'm the guy that was looking at the next guy saying, I'm taking his fucking spot. Do you understand me? That's the difference. So let me, let me explain something to you. Whenever you have a generational change as your purpose, I'm taking your fucking spot. That's the way I think. I'm going to put in the work to take your spot. Now, will I get to take your spot, whoever that person is? Maybe not. But motherfucker, I took somebody's spot and now I'm keeping it. And there's people that want to take mine. And whether that's true or not, it's true in my head. So when I'm putting in that work, when I'm doing that extra jump rope, when I'm hitting my conditioning, when I was doing my lunges for 10 years straight, I would think, you're not taking this motherfucking spot. I earned this. No one give me shit. Everyone's helped me. But no one gave me nothing. I fucking took it. And you should take yours too. At the end of the day, you have to be working like someone is coming for that spot, no matter what level you're at, and you got to keep it away to go to the next. You see all these fucking stories about Michael Jordan making up all this shit about this guy and that guy to keep him motivated. Everyone that's successful that I know has a mentality like this. It's never enough, and you're always pushing. 
Now there's a balanced flip side to that, to having small wins, to understanding when you have victories, and I'm trying to get better at that. But the reality is I got here with this type of mentality. I'm a nice guy, but don't get it fucking twisted. I'm serious, and I push, and I want it more than anybody I know because that's what got me here. And if you want, um, if you don't want a motherfucker to take your spot, you better bring it like that. So think about this tomorrow. Whatever your job is, whatever your promotion is in this current time, you got to get up thinking the person underneath you or the person above you or whatever, they're all lobbying for it. They're all lobbying for it. You think I don't want to be a bigger fitness influencer or I don't want to be a bigger business person or I want to sell more books or more supplements? All of it. So I'm trying to take somebody's spot. And right now, in this, in this exact time, right fucking now, I'm coming for it. So whoever that person is, if they're sleeping in and they're not sending the extra email and they're not pushing their body to the limits, I'm taking it. And so somebody is thinking that about you. It's just something to think about. All right, Daily Fire episode 311. We out.